Today, former President Trump sitting down for a conversation at the annual convention for the National Association of Black Journalists. That conversation happening in Chicago. Trump then heading to Pennsylvania tonight for his first rally there since the assassination attempt. His running mate J.D. Vance will be at the southern border in Arizona after slamming Vice President Kamala Harris at a rally in Reno last night. There's nothing they can do about the fact that Kamala Harris, she owns every single one of the Biden administration's failure over the last four years. Arizona Senator Mark Kelly, one of Harris's possible VP picks on MSNBC this morning. Like a lot of other Republicans, they don't actually want to solve this problem. They just want to talk about it. And that's why his running mate, J.D. Vance, is down at the border to take a picture. That's the only reason he's there. Democratic Party leaders say Harris is the only candidate who qualified for the delegate roll call starting tomorrow. Delegates will cast their official votes virtually until Monday night. The Harris campaign announcing next week she and her eventual choice for VP will be on a seven-stop tour crossing the country. It starts in Philadelphia Tuesday, signaling she'll choose her running mate before then. Harris holding a rally in Atlanta, Georgia last night, a crucial swing state in front of 10,000 people. She's calling on Trump to follow through on his promise to debate. I do hope you'll reconsider to meet me on the debate stage because as the saying goes, if you've got something to say, say it to my face. When President Biden was still on the ticket, Trump committed to two debates. Now that it's Harris, Trump has said it's important to debate, but at the same time saying he can make the case for not doing it. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington. That the VP is back in Texas for a third time this month. She's expected a touchdown in Houston this afternoon, joining President Biden to pay her respects to the late Texas Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. And in about an hour, former President Trump will take part in an interview with the National Association of Black Journalists in Chicago. He's also returning to Pennsylvania for a rally for the first time since that assassination attempt in the state earlier this month.